Hello everyone and welcome back to a little thing I'm calling Tell Me What to Build. The first time around, I asked you to tell me what to build with the pieces from one of these sets. And you told me many, many things to build. And out of those many suggestions, I went with building a mech. So I made this thing. Did a separate video on that, showing the whole process and talking about it as I went along. Second time around, you, you told me what to build with another one of these sets, and uh, there were two clear winners that time. One of them was a dragon, so I built a dragon. Got a separate video on that too, of course. The other one was a spaceship. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to build a spaceship from these parts, again, from the same set. I just got, uh, looks like I got uh, four of them in total, so I'll be able to do another one shortly after this at some point so here we go i'm going to try to build a spaceship and one thing that i want to do in particular is make it not the old school wedge shape not the old late 70s early 80s typical sci-fi wedge shape generic spaceship inspired by a you know just a jet fighter plane kind of thing and I am not in a creative mode right now, so it's going to take me a minute to hopefully switch that on. Hopefully it'll come on. I've been researching and doing stuff for electrical installations, so I'm not in the Lego building state of mind. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push through. I'm going to change that. Uh, first of all, I'm looking forward to doing this because I believe that I'll be able to use more of the actual thick full brick pieces on this than I did on those first two builds. I was able to use a fair number of them, I guess, on the dragon, but uh, on the mech, definitely not. It's kind of kind of spindly, but I want to make something that's, that's of substance, and I'm not going to limit myself to making it minifig scale or minifig compatible, let's say, this time around. I really have no idea, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to start. I'm just going to do some stuff see what see what comes up so this time around I would like to use these pieces since I didn't use them last time and it looks like I didn't use them the first time either but certainly have the opportunity to use these as rocket outlets or something right so if I have that opportunity I might as well use it sorry my fingers are dry from doing lots of of work and also keeping my hands clean so that all of the videos I do of Lego stuff are not completely covered with disgusting fingerprints that you can see in brilliant 1080p HD. Um, but yeah, that's just the way it is. I definitely want to use these as well. Now they can be facing towards the rear or they can be facing down or I could just use them for greebling on top that just for the sake of the of the shape and the texture that they create these things are going to be definitely used see how much length I can get out of this as well Maybe I can turn this into kind of a kind of a base to start the whole thing um, I'm gonna try moving some of these pieces out of frame to make a little bit of space uh, let me know if you have any issues with that you know just let me know in in a comment if that was a bad idea not letting you see all the, the pieces that i have available at once this is just going to be a lot more efficient for me and and more comfortable for now but i can i can change back if needed um so yeah see i don't want to go in the direction of the of the wedge shape i could do a, a box base for this and then kind of connect those and build upon that see some of these larger sized oh i could turn a couple of those on their sides larger sized slope pieces I got these as well top and bottom sides you could just ignore aerodynamics and go 100 percent space vehicle or I could stick to you know something that can potentially go uh, you know go atmospheric I think I'm gonna stick to just plain space 
not worry too much about aerodynamic necessities. Let's see if I went with the side. I don't think I actually need to go with the sideways thing unless, unless I want to attach some of these smaller detail pieces on the sides. It's too bad there's only one of these two by fours. One of the more useful pieces for connecting things together. Yeah, I don't know what shape I'm gonna go with. I can might be a little bit bulbous at the front. It would be nice to have a couple of like side side pods separated out. Go with kind of the three-point hydrofoil boat kind of inspiration. Let's see, these could be used as the basis for some weaponry. I can do weaponry if I want, or I could just make it a cargo ship. I do have three of these hilt pieces that can be faced forward. I've got these that can be faced forward, so that's all good. What else? I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a lot with the articulation pieces this time around. I mean, I can. I can use them at the very least just to create some studs on the side surfaces. You know, don't actually use the articulation. Uh, just leave them static, but take advantage of the pieces at least. So that's still, still a possibility. Let me just leave a couple of these at 90 degrees just to kind of remind myself in the background that that is a possibility. And also, this allows me to rotate things forward. I want to put a little, little angle on it, and that can go in and out as well. Yeah, I'm going to try to go with the, the whole pod thing. And let's see, maybe I'll keep these in and use these going out. How's that? Yeah, that makes it look a little larger. I'll try that. And just to start things off to get them, well, see, I was thinking about using these because they give me a lot of surface, which will make it nice and easy to attach some larger pieces. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that for now. This is another one that's also very good for that purpose. But let me, let me try that for now. At some point, I'll probably switch to building just one side at a time out of this. But for now, I'm gonna put something underneath there. If these if these are gonna go underneath, and I think that would be a good idea to have these going underneath. And let me do this right now. Okay, let's try this on top then. So that I can angle those wings, I guess, of sorts. You can kind of call call them wings, even though they won't be aerodynamic. So I can angle them down, yeah, I definitely want to do that. I don't necessarily need to connect these yet because I can I can fill up the space with some, you know, some filler pieces of, of pretty much any kind of design. I don't need to worry about using up some of my precious flat pieces just yet. Let's see, I've got these inverted, just these two inverted slopes if I want to put those out of the edges here. Oh, I also have these, but I might want to use those underneath to give it a little shape. And then of course I want to use this. I wonder if I can make a canopy on this, like kind of a suggestion of a canopy. That would be that would be a good little little challenge to attempt. I wonder what pieces I would use for that. I mean, I might end up using these. So if I stuck that in there, Let's that angle down from up above. Let's try that. See how that looks. Doesn't hurt sometimes to kind of be spastic, try different things in this mode, you know, rather than being completely methodical and going from end to end or working on one thing until it's done. It's okay to just kind of let yourself go and just try different stuff. Go with whatever seems interesting at the moment. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking that's a, a good way to make a suggestion of a single a single pilot canopy. I could also go double wide with that if I wanted. Let's see if I can do something here to make this look a little bit better. 
Turn the brightness down a little bit. Something like that. Might want to make it wider though. Or, could use this. Since it exists. See, that makes it wider. That makes it a lot wider. That might be too wide. This would allow me to put the figure in there. We'll see. I might end up putting the figure in there in the end, but I might not. If I don't, then let me know what you think about that. If I do, then it's no worries. Just looking at this with interest in considering sizes and shapes, because I don't want to use up too many of my nice shaped pieces like slopes and such too soon before I get to the center. Although I guess the center could be blocky. Let's see what happens if I just go ahead and attach those right where they are. And then, hmm, this is interesting. This could actually go, no, it cannot. That's right, it cannot go there. It could go there. Allow me to attach things to the, towards the insides. These could use some shaping. I wanna go inverse for the heck of it. Why not? Might build up a little bit of thickness beneath there uh, before I go any further. Got a couple of these on either side. Just to kind of just kind of fake it a little bit. Add some extra thickness to the wings. And get that in there. Pylons, whatever they are. You know, just, just offsetting it a little bit. Since I am limited in parts very much. Roll with that for now. What else? These are really nice too. I would like to see these used like diagonally up here. I wonder what I can do for that. Maybe use studs on all side piece. Just thinking of possibilities there. Just go like that. It's kind of cool. Attach it in there somehow. I'll leave that together for the moment. These round parts, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have a, a good use for them, to be honest. They could also be used towards forming the shape of a canopy, but I don't know. They seem a little bit, a little bit too open to me. I don't like that. So angle these forward. If I angle it forward, hmm. Oh, I actually like that. A bit of a pincer design. All right, I'm gonna leave these off for the moment. Consider that to be a thing. Might actually end up putting those those purple parts up on the top too. Let's see what should these do? I don't even know what these should do now. In this kind of world, because I don't want them to just stick out like that. That seems a little bit boring to me. I would like these to be in line. If I push push them forward, at the front. Let's try that. Let's see where that goes. Might go nowhere. Might make it into the final product. You never know. It's worth a shot, worth considering at least. Definitely opens up a lot of possibilities for what I could what I could attach in front of that, and I could also attach these down below. That might be a better idea. Oh wow! Hey, that's cool. This can go half because of the the hollow stud there. This can go halfway down. It sticks out just a fraction of a 
plate beneath. Hmm. All right, that's nice. Gets a little bit, a little bit lower. This definitely feels too wide to me, but I might use a variation of that at some point. Oh, maybe this could be the canopy shape. Make it kind of alien. How, how would these two combine? It looks like a house. <laughs> Ooh. How about that? Yeah, I want that to be the front of my spaceship. That shape right there. I want that to be the nose. Just cause. end up right there and then this would come up on top Ooh, I like that because it's different it's different for the sake of being different yeah I could also I mean this might be a little bit more boring but I could turn these outward it's it's okay it's a little a little smooth I'm gonna turn them down for what? Looks more flat on top. Not a bad look. A little bit of a, a bit of a raptor beak kind of appearance that way. If I just went backwards, that's really abrupt. So that's probably not the way to go. That is not the way to go. Okay, I'm gonna start with them down. And I just need to create an attachment mode for that. Down and, oh, can I? That goes out, uh, that goes out, that goes out. Um, this is not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. I wanted them here and here, right? Nope, yep, yep, yep. So this way. Anti-stud down. Okay, let me figure out how to get that to attach now. Need to create just an extension underneath. I don't want to do any more weird stuff inside of there right now. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. I want to just, I mean, I guess I could use this kind of thing or could use this kind of thing. Uh, can I? Mm, yeah, I could turn that upside down. That would work. Number of options. I'd rather not use those smaller pieces just yet. I don't have any. I don't have any one stud wide plates longer than that to attach. And I have these. These are one. These are one by three. But it's not gonna cut it. I, I want reach. I want to connect right now between this purple base and that gray piece without wasting too many valuable pieces. I may have to end up just going with that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, if there's anything more clever that I could do right there. I could put one of these on top and then reach forward from this. That's easy. You could also do that from un from underneath. That is to do this. You could also do it from underneath by just flipping this. Move that down and turn it upside down. Mm. That's not going to help me. All right, well, let me just go with this for now. Since it is a solution, it may not be the solution. I'm even gonna put this on top here, just for the time being. So my idea is to turn this upside down and move it down. So it's kind of out of the way. A piece of a tire, one of those tire pieces <laughs> got stuck in my finger. That's not far enough. I need to reach out 
at least a stud further. I can't tell if that's just a stud or if it's a little bit more than that. It might be a little bit more than that. So I need to create an extension. Let me, no, this is not gonna work. All right, I'll just do this for now. I really don't wanna use that two by two just yet, but it'll allow me to get a little bit of progress in here. And that will, does that squeeze in? I might have to angle it just a little bit. Get in there and see what it actually does. Yeah, it's just a little bit, a little bit short. Bring it in, inboard. Yeah, it's a little bit short still. I'm getting dust in here. Why am I getting dust pieces? Will that fit outside of that? Nah, not really. Well, I guess I'm gonna extend it again. Just for the time being. I need to make that work. So I can move on. So, like that. I don't think I like that. Jeez, what happened there? That's way too far. What? Seriously, what happened? That's the difference? Yep, that's the difference. Well, that's no good. So I need to go like a half. Half a stud. Mm -mm, this, is not, this is not going well. This could be my answer. you off. What if you went right here? Eh? Yeah. That could be the answer. I can bolster this up above it just a little bit, but let's see where this needs to actually go. It's still a full stud though, so with this I could use the jumpers. I might have to use the jumpers to go a half. I don't have room there. That would have to go on top, and it's not a good not a good use of pieces. I would need to use more. Hmm. Looks like that's gonna work distance wise but in terms of the height the height is now an issue let me go ahead and lift this up by one get that process started and I wanted to end it I wanted to end it here so I'm gonna take this in and that's gonna go up one, and then something else is gonna go on top of it. So, this, and then this for now. Those will kinda of clamp. Whoa, wait, wait, what What am I doing, what am I doing? I'm, I'm off, that's, that's one too far. One too far, so. Do I even have room then? Yeah, I guess I do. Bring this in here. Seems like a colossal misuse of space and space and time. <laughs> what am I doing? That is not right at all. That's where I want it to be, right there. So I'll need to figure out a better way to get that space in there. Yeah, that's that's what I just did a minute ago, wasn't it? Yeah, anyway. Let's put it in there for now. Move on. Something was wrong. Anyway, kind of got that shape there. Then I can move this down. Make everything 
feel a little bit better. See, that's what I was going for. And this is going to go on top. It's just going to be extended out. Maybe that's not good. Let me overlap. That's okay. Might want to use these jumpers to go in between. Doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I'll do it. I'll do it here. That needs to go up by two plates. I don't want to use these up yet because I want to use those on the exterior. What else do I have that could fit into that space instead of using that plate? Let me go ahead and grab an actual brick. Once again, this is all very fragile at this point, but this will help me out. Do I want to do one or do I want to do two? Let me try splitting the difference half and half. Like so. And then I can put this wherever I want. So I'm going to put it right there for now. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. And then, yeah, I can angle these things up if I want instead. Go down. Isn't that kind of the shape of the, the reboot? Klingon uh, small ships. The reboot cinematic universe ones. Something like that. It's not what I was going for, but maybe... Maybe that's kind of the, the shape. I'm just looking at this thing, seeing what else I want to do at this point. Like, what do I want to do from here with the body? Do I want to, do I want to swoop up? Do I want to split and do a kind of a split tail right there? Kind of going with the, the bird theme. Do I want to try to build a large weapon on top? Feeling a little bit of, of original descent also, descent to the game game series really that was a classic groundbreaking series I'm liking what's happening with these these little side things though and just how many things I can do with that let me turn this around and just consider the rear of it for a moment I love having this wide space that I can work with too Let's see, I do still have these guys, so they can be inboard. Oh, I also have these guys. Maybe they can kind of help to smooth the, the transition outboard a little bit. That could be a thing. Or, if the angle ends up going down, I can move this down by one plate. No, I can't. Be, might be a spot where that can fit in. Yeah, I think I can. Nope. Nope. I'm dealing with the, the tube. If there was a way that I could get just the corner, just the corner to fit in. Back in that space, but I don't think it's gonna happen to go down a full a full plate. I, I think I'm liking this angling up deal. So perhaps just to help with the smoothing out from the body to those, I'll just put these in for now. Might come back to it. Oh, I've got two more. Why not? Why not take advantage of it? Right? Look at that. Actually getting some, some smoothish colors in this that actually kind of go together. Okay. I will take that for the time being. Good. And then I would like some other things to stick out. Perhaps so these can, I might reserve these for the tops. Let me take these other ball and socket joints. See about going the opposite direction with those. If these go down the rear instead, that could be interesting. I 
I, I had just a little bit of thought of, oh, this is inside out, that's okay. Very easy to fix. I had a little bit of thought of, of kind of going for a, a cargo ship. You know, something very, very pedestrian, just very utilitarian. But that is not the direction things are going. And I'm okay with that. So I've got stuff like that. I've got these. They can be used yet. See, in what direction do I want to go? Or I kind of see those being uh, like landing gears, landing gear, or uh, struts. Struts. I like the idea of struts. I use some of these or something. I don't know. We'll see. For now, maybe I'll just do this. Kind of like it raked forward instead, even though the whole thing is leaning back. Yeah, we'll do that. Mm-hmm. I like it. Might move those back farther. Or I could even take them off the tail. Back here. Has a little bit of a X, kind of an X suggestion from the top. These can also go out. They can go this way, but this is starting to move too far into the the plane, the airplane kind of realm. I don't like that. These angle down. Nah. Nah, I don't like that. I mean, I know I'm going to build more stuff on top here, but I think this... I don't know which of those will, will, go better, will work better for me, but for now I'm definitely going to keep these mounted to the sides just for now. I'll probably end up connecting these across at some point because they do need some reinforcement for the durabilities. All right, what next? It's still theoretically possible to design this to work with a figure, but I don't think I'm gonna return to that, that world, that kind of direction. It's too bad I... Um, thinking what I could do up here to fill up some of that space. Sure would be nice. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Stick something else underneath if I need to, but for right now, just go with that. Bulks up those, those hands. Still have lots of studs on the side. Pieces to use. These are gonna be interesting, useful. Got plenty of red to continue that red stripe going right through there. That's surprising and good. Could leave a little, oh, is that a thing? Kinda like that shape. Now this is looking a little bit, uh, a little bit Magneto-ish in its color scheme. But well, there's no rule against it. Ah, that uh, that gray brick inside of there is actually not all the way down. Didn't realize that. Make sure it's kind of kind of lined up before I push it in too far. All right. Might help these to settle just a little bit. Just a little bit. Interesting, not bad, not bad. Might have preferred to use that, that modified red plate towards the rear at some point, but it's, it's okay. Now, do I just want to use these to come down here or you know, somewhere in between? A little bit of a humpback thing might work for me. I just grabbed this because it's yellow. 
the two by twos. Yeah. Now if I stuck um if I stuck this under there. Just fill up some of that gap. <laughs> Fills up a little bit of it. Not as much as I would like. But something. Yeah, it's it's okay. It could be better though. I went here and then went up with it. Uh, I've got gray here, I've got red here. What if I did that instead? <laughs> it's all falling apart. There's one there, there. This goes under, this clamps under. And this is what I was saying, or thinking. Maybe I do it from the front and then do something else at the rear. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think so. That had to happen. Don't still have enough room for this, do I? Oh, just can't use those studs for the most part unless I attach these. forward. <laughs> Why not? Not too far apart, just above the canopy, minimizing the parallax distortion or whatever. Could also have that angling up and down. That's that's a possibility right there. I guess do I have is there enough room? I guess there is enough room to attach something above that. <laughs> Alright. Well, that bulked up significantly. Look at that. <laughs> Very different. I kind of like to use these back here. Because I was just now thinking of just dropping them right on top there, but I don't know. Feels a little lazy to me for filling in that space. So if I was to put them at the rear, perhaps if I use these tan recess stud pieces, Headlight bricks. Could embed them into the side of the hull just a little bit. Yeah, that's what I want to do. It is. Or I could stick them a little bit farther back, perhaps. That's a possibility as well, but I might just leave a little bit of hollow space here. I'm not sure which of those I prefer. Let me try going with the rear placement for the moment. Just gonna do this just to strengthen that up a little bit for right now. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Never mind. It's too limiting. Alright, so I'll do that as a temporary piece. Actually, if it's only gonna be temporary, then perhaps it's gonna be inside, so I'll go with a, a wacky color. Good, 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 good. Don't forget about these. Hey, maybe these will be my. My landing skids. At least a couple of them. And perhaps I end up stacking these vertically. Because that's going to be a little bit tough to pull off. Is this able to unclip if it goes through there? Uh, looks like it does. It does unclip if it goes through there. Uh, sticking with legal builds, I don't want to have this 
just stuck into a hollow stud, something like that one, something like this, you know. I don't want it like that because then technically that's that's stressed right there. That's not really the way the the element was designed to work. But if I put it through here, that's actually unloading the little spring tabs are unloading inside of the brick. So I can use this as a mode of attachment. And if I'm going to do that, then oops, probably want to go with the blue. And I might offset them by one. I don't have any one by ones other than the studs on the side pieces. I do have one more piece with the studs on all sides. And if I had left these available to me, I could put studs on the side there. I really don't need to do that though. I'm thinking about how this is going to be hidden, how this is going to be embedded. For right now, let me just do the straightforward stacking with the consideration that I would like to move towards an offset, a longitudinal offset. But if I was to do this just now, where would it fit? Maybe once you go above, once you go below. Using, uh-huh, yes sir. Go ahead and use these now. And then perhaps for the sake of that offset that I was talking about, um, no, this is not going to work underneath. I might need to just attach another piece down there. So I will stick with the, the orange one by two jumpers, at least for the top, for the moment. See where that goes. Hey. Check this out. This can hide that adjoinment. Not bad. Get that green going around there too. Now I would like to hang something off the side there to close some of that off, but fortunately that is very possible, very doable. Is there anything else that I could do to connect this more effectively though? Glad I still have all these available. That's great. Yeah. Got so many little pieces that I can use. So I'm assuming I am going to use these on the undersides, after all. As boring as that is, it is smart, I believe. Could use them on the pylons, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to use them underneath to bulk up the underside of this a little bit. You know, they could connect that. Well, I'll just sit that there for now. I'm talking about it. And the other one will just fit right in there. And it needs a little bit. No, actually, I don't mind the fact that that's increasing in cross section as it as it moves towards the mount there. I do want to fill in that in between space a little bit. Maybe I'll go kind of half and half. Move this forward one. Let's do that right now. Why not? And since I do have plenty of pieces to spare, just make it a little bit more official. A little bit more structural. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Might put like a gray piece right there, just to make it even smoother. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. That gets me closer to the ground, and then I, I am liking this idea of using these for landing. I could also use these for landing. Hey, that's a good direction. What if I use these exclusively? Or I did something else at the back. Ah, it's so blocky. I mean, it works, but, you know, it's, it keeps it up nice and high, but... I don't like the look. Nah, forget it. Forget it. I don't like the look. 
might be might be a good idea but I don't like how it how it appears so it's out all right well, I'll just switch back to what I was thinking about for this oh maybe this one will be inset I was thinking about having the the lower one stick out more but now that I put this in like this kind of liking that hmm um what else could I do there because these have those closed studs. That's not going to help me. I mean, this, I suppose, helps a bunch of things out simultaneously. I guess that's my answer. You know, it provides a little bit more support under there, a little bit more bracing. Yeah, that works. That looks kind of sporty. Colors are not great here, but oh well. <laughs> just limitations. Some things just have to be lived with. I'm not going to put these um, inverted tiles on there just yet until I decide what what all what all is going to be attached. Uh, you know how I'm going to have this stand up or whatnot. Um, I guess these. Well, they can either fill up some of that space there or go inboard a bit. Or they could stick out. Kind of liking that idea. Or they could face towards the rear. Uh, kind of like that idea also. Changes the shape a little bit. Brings that blue in. Used one of the blue pieces. Okay, so yeah, I have just one of these left. Well, I have one, one, one by that I could put on top here. Maybe I could use these red dots instead. I'm thinking about putting a blue piece just on top of each of these, but that might limit the range of motion a little bit. So maybe I put the red dots there instead. Yeah, let's try that. For the moment, it would be nice to get this to actually stick out though in one of the directions. Oh, to make it look like it connects a little bit better? That's a thing. Kind of smooths in towards the fuselage. Was not expecting that at all. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, there's a little bit of movement to it. Now, these aren't angled up as much anymore, but from most angles, I like what that is doing to it. Cool. Yeah, that really helps with the aggressiveness, in my view, for some reason. I don't know why, but I really like that. That helps so much. And I can actually attach something in there if I want realize that these round pieces might be well used here because I can do this get them aligned as viewed from the top aligned as viewed from the sides and then those can be weapons now is that actually angled in it's actually angled in that's not good Kind of like the general idea here. I could put these out there if I want. I could put one of these on. That's not going to do me very good. So perhaps I would swap up here. We'll see. We'll see. For now, I'll just stick this on and see what, see how I feel about it in a minute. I also have these. But I was about to say I don't like that. Then I kind of do. Not to look like hands, but to look like some sort of uh, arcing barrel. Some sort of energy based weapon. I mean, I guess even like a. The tips of, of X-Wing. 
uh, laser barrels have those arc kind of shapes on them and they also have the emitters in the center but there's just some something aggressive about that to me might change it later but for now we're off to a movement in a good direction what else I do want to get I do want to get these involved now What if this was my landing skid? Don't have any, well, I <laughs> just happen to have a, an open stud there. <laughs> it's convenient. Doesn't look too bad from that angle, but as you start to look at it from the front, it just looks like a, like a plunger, like a plumber's plunger, so that's not good. If I brought it back, that would help tremendously. And perhaps I leave off the foot. Is there any other hollow stud, just plain hollow stud piece that I have around here? I've got one of these still. I could use it. And, yeah, I guess I could. Nope, nope, it's not tall enough. Wish I had just literally a hollow stud. Hey, this will do the trick. Or this will do the trick as well. Let's see, my gray under there. Which do I prefer? It doesn't really matter. This would have to go up here. That's too far forward. Again. Not as bad. But still not great. And there's no space to place it here, unfortunately. I'd have to go back this far. And I think that's too far. No, it works as a stand. I don't know if I like the look, but it does work as a stand. So I could, I could literally consider that to be just a display stand piece. It's not integral to the design of the ship in universe. You know, remove it for play, <laughs> kind of think of it that way. And then if I, well, I still kind of want to use these. So what if I did the opposite? That would be too tall. So what I was thinking just now is if I did this, well, that makes for a better display stand. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. But let me move it back even farther. Oh, yeah. That is the stuff right there. Yeah, that's nice. I would never have planned that out, but it is certainly working for me now. You'll see it once once you get to a, a lower angle, if, if I end up keeping it. I think I'm going to keep it, but cool, actually building a display stand for this thing. Mm-hmm. I like how this is working out. I need to do something in there. It doesn't need to be smoothed out. Again, it's not, it's not something that needs to be aerodynamic, but I do want to put something in there. And, well, I thought I only used one. Yeah, I only used one of those hands, so I still have... Wait, or did I use one at all at this point? Nope. I used the, the droid arms instead. I thought I had three of these. Anyway, I can attach something in there with those hopefully yes no maybe yes you get right in there not decided on exactly what to attach just yet but Oh no, this is not gonna work because I need I need a hollow stud there. Now is there open space behind this? No, nope. it would need to go down by one. I would need to raise this so I'm thinking right now. If I could use this in place of the blue. The blue piece. Uh, one stud is in the way with the V2 
the yellow sloping. So I would need to raise all of this up. And I could, I could accomplish that with the help of these on the sides. I don't quite like how far it goes, but let me just try it. And this, I'm not completely sold on all this just yet, but maybe actually lifting this up will help with that problem. Now, that could go towards the rear instead. It could, it could. I could do, oh, I do have some, look at this, I have some yellow. Just go ahead and put this other pink piece in there. Just hide it away. I don't I don't need that yellow to stick out. I think I'll just hide it completely as well. Or do I want to just leave a gap? What does that look like with a gap? Not bad. Could put something in there. I'll, I'll leave it like that for the moment. See how that feels a little later on. Okay, gray there, gray here. Raises everything up by a plate. Now you get removed, pop these off. You get removed and replaced with this guy, dark gray. Looks like, yep. That is able to work. I believe that's technically legal. Sweet. Uh, is that how this was? No. It is, isn't it? Wait, what? No. It was like this. Yeah, okay. I just need to put this in place. Not too worried about that. I actually could secure that from the side if I took out that large brick on the inside, which I can. I think I have enough pieces to, to do that if I want to secure that a little bit better. But all this work was just to be able to put this grill right there, right in that spot. And uh, I think it was worth it. This is what I wanted to do. And it fits. It was a good choice. Mm -hmm. You stay, stay, stay. Alright, good. Now I can clip stuff onto this if I want. I could push these in there if I want. I could attach these there if I want to have them looking like whiskers I could attach just the oh I could attach these if I want to kind of smooth out the red coming from the, the slopes here towards the rear just a number of things that I could do now that I have that stud on the side in the, the light gray What else? What else? I've made pretty good use of the available pieces here, too. I mean, I still have a bunch of regular bricks left over, which is not what I expected, but at least I used up a lot. That's all I have left for, for slopes. Used up a lot of slopes. A lot of studs on the side pieces. And for plates. Let me show you what I've got left for plates now. bad I will not put eyes on <laughs> on this ship although I, I guess I could kind of stick them under there smooth that out a little bit but let's see how this is looking from the back it's not bad could use a little more a little more visual interest back there I'm gonna do on top now I do still have a, uh, a grill piece 
this could fit in. Not to very good effect. Don't have the one by two bar anymore. This could fit at the top. Uh, what else? I've got the white. Not a great idea. Mm, this isn't really going to help. The green pieces aren't really going to help. Uh, I don't want to put any orange right there. It just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Does it? Does it? Wait, is that? Yeah, that should be able to fit. Just uh, straighten out some parts a little bit. That should be should be able to fit right in there. I think it's just past. Mm, maybe it won't actually. No, it looks like it just barely would. I want to make sure that I'm not pulling the the ends of this past the inside of that dark. Dark gray break. I, th I think I think this is getting into illegal territory. I mean, it kind of fits. I do like the shaping. Don't like the color, but the shaping. I mean, I can lift that up by uh, by a plate. Kind of helps. Hmm. I feel like that's stressed though. doing that. It's really it's really clapped in there. So I'm going to say that's a no-go for now. I'm not liking how that feels. I know I could put a 1 by 2 plate inside of there. That'll fit because it can it can slip in just a little bit into that gap, but I'm just not too comfortable with how that was going. So let me try the idea. Oh man, so many things I do feel just a tinge of impatience coming on. Can't see how I, how long I've been working on this, but I don't want I don't want to make these too long. But this is what I was talking about. See, that's doable. And then, you know, this can be attached out. Kind of, kind of like that idea. Why not? As long as it will fit. Yeah, that fits right in between there. The only thing is that the Lego logos do stick up a little bit. Mm, this is able to clear them. <laughs> so the whatever you call this piece with the, the bar at the end, its width as viewed from the top fits within the space on those two black studs on the axle holder where the Lego logo is not on either. Now, if those logos were rotated 90 degrees, then I think this would not work. But as it is right now, I think that's just, just okay. Kind of like that splaying out kind of look. I could attach something else. Oh, well, I mean, I, I guess I could do that if I wanted, but I mean, I don't know. That might be a little bit cheesy. Is it? Could be a tail gunner position. Automated rear defense turret. Every modern modern uh, fighter needs to have one of those. Just wanted to have something up there. Now, the other option that I could have gone with was whiskers back here facing outwards. But I could also always do those. I mean, I can do them here. 
I could use just the bases of these if I wanted. I could leave the, the actual black part out. But I could also angle these back. They could look like struts connecting. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that's happening. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen, but it's happening. Struts hanging out towards these little tail segments. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, buddy. Something like that, I think. I think that's about right. Not a bad, not a bad shape. This thing has actually having that just angling up just a little bit. It almost looks like a like a Jado rocket right there. Or I guess Rado it would be. <laughs> Rado. Alright, you keep falling out and I don't like it. It's because it was not sticking in there all the way, I, I believe. I think that was the main problem. Let's see. Yeah, I think that was the main problem. All right, let me turn some attention back to this area here, because I don't like it as it stands right now. Get these. Now, do I want to do this? I mean, that, that's a look. It could be convertible. It could go up or down, but I want to stick with the the up as the default for right now, at least. All right, what's gonna go in that space? Now I could do the orange there with these slopes. Um, I could take that entire bracket off if I wanted to. I could remove this. It could actually go into that space, I believe. Do something weird. Does it fit between those two studs? I thought it would. Yeah, it does. So you just it's a different kind of shape there. Not necessarily a good one though. Might be a better idea just to put this down beneath to fill some of that in. Didn't use my seat. That's too bad. Would have been good to use that somewhere. But I really don't see a good place for it. Could just put a one by two brick in the space and then put something else on top of that instead of the bracket. I have a couple of these that I can use on the sides. I can still have something facing forward. Let's see how that looks. One too many pieces. Although I do kind of like the idea of... Oh, that, dude, that's not going to work. Put jumpers under that as well. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. That. Maybe something. Bring some of that, bl that blue in. Gives it a little bit of movement. Don't know if that leaves enough room for the weight. No, it doesn't the way these things were being attached. But I could attach them from the sides instead. I am not liking that though. We'd rather be able to use those studs facing forward. So what I'll do instead is put a different, oh, I'll just put a, a one by two blue since I have one of those left over at this point. Put that under there. Still gives me some of the pseudo slope and allows me to use stud facing forward like so. Both sides. Just transplant these for the moment. See how that looks.
It's not bad. It's not bad. Could be better, I feel. Probably if I had a different color. And this really should have something on top as well. Do I put these at this level or do I put them one level down? That is a little bit more of a humpback look that way. If I put them up versus putting them down here. This is a little smoother. Choose one, aggressiveness or smoothness. So what I don't like about this is how that curve mirrors this curve. And they're so close to each other. If I left those out, I could actually place this in front. Higher. higher is not necessarily bad here because these are right on top of the canopy. They block some of the shaping. Let's try that. I do like the look of that sub-assembly though. Do I have a brick separator nearby? Yes. It's going to help me quite a lot right here. One more time. Okay, so when you in there, that uh, does not leave room for two, does it? I think it leaves room for just one. legal. I think that is actually on top of the Lego logos right there. Kind of cool to have them centered, but not necessary. There we go. Yeah, I like having them up a little bit higher like that. put something in the center as well. So if I pop these these arms out, then I can use that. As kind of a kind of a shape in there of its own. I guess I could at least remove the hands. I don't know. There's there's just something interesting enough about that that I kind of kind of want to leave it there. It's just so weird. Popping arms out is slightly destructive, but pop popping hands out is not bad. Popping arms out reduces the the life of the joint. They're really not designed to go in and out. Yeah, I think I, I think I need to leave that there. Just to just to preserve that that weird idea. I'm not gonna do this. I just wanted to see if it would work. <clears throat> Hmm, now that I say that. I need to stop saying I'm not I'm not gonna do this. I'm not actually gonna leave this here. Because almost every time I end up leaving it there. And this is messing up again. So perhaps it's time 
do a little swap. Is that going to be any better? I don't think it is. If I use the two together. Uh, how's the clutch power in here? It's not so good. All right. Wherever this went. Try this. See if it lasts a little bit longer. Up there, there we go. Return to center. Yeah. Just considered to be a, a targeting array. You know, or radome at the very the very least. The most boring. This is not bad. Oh, I can attach things to the sides if I want to. It does bring in, yeah, see, you know, early on in this video, I, I mentioned the idea of, of doing something humpbacked as a possibility, and, you know, just to have some shape that is unnecessarily aggressive in some way. And this has definitely gone in that direction. Yeah, I think I'm okay with it. I don't know about adding in the orange though. I mean, I, I could bring that across with the help of this or, I, no, that's not good. Kind of spread that out right there. That's okay. Or I could smooth it together which is probably not so okay it's it's all right I'm not sure which is better or worse maybe I'll just stick with that for now I do still have another grill piece it's also okay and grills could also be used out here and see how that looks one of those on either side or if this fit into this space instead might be a better use yeah it's probably a better use I just put this black jumper in that spot that works fine then I'll add that little extra detail to the wing pylon elements yep makes it look a little bit more complete to my eyes Good progress. Okay. Definitely nearing a completion. I do have one more of these. I could just kind of have that sticking up. Uh, let's see, I've got one of these pairs. This can attach if I want to have that rear facing laser I can still put it there or I could even drop it down pull this jumper off and just use that exposed hollow stud right there get this down a little bit farther down farther in there and then I do believe before I put this all in there let me just see how this looks Yeah, it's sticking out too far. <laughs> Just gives me a, another way to artic articulate something. But I could also put it off to the side like that. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to stick with that because it piques my curiosity. Let's 
stick it down as far as it'll go. I like the I like the play value of it. <laughs> Not the best looking thing, but I really like what it enables in universe on this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. I do want to use a couple of these. If I have any spaces to use this, I want to do that as well. And we're coming on to the, the home stretch here. I did say I wanted to use these. Maybe I can put them... Let's see, I've got white and green. Put them back here. They don't need to stick out that much. Not for the type of design that I ended up putting together. Yep, that'll work. It's good to place it behind the black where it gets some nice contrast and having the white underneath also boosts the brightness. works. Still don't know about these exactly. And of course I do have these now. I could if I wanted to use these somewhere. I don't want to use them just to use them though. They have, they have to look good. They have to add something. So that's not gonna work in there. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Now it's stuck in there. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Is there anything I'm missing? Anything I'm missing? Would these look better with tires on them? Maybe. Let it stick out just a little bit. Put it halfway on. That's that's legit. That's that's doable. I, I can allow that. Yeah. It's not bad. I could go either way with those. A little bit a little bit better in some ways, a little bit worse in some ways. guy will fit right there hmm will it fit right there I'm not sure will it hmm I'll have to think about that for a minute <laughs> uh, this can be used just to provide a little extra bulk to kind of hide the hollowness Doesn't help that much. Is there anything else that could fit there? I don't want to. I don't want to put anything there that's too obvious, too visible. Uh, I wanted to put these in those spots, but would they work here? Yeah, actually, I don't mind that. Might not look as good from the from the top, but I think it's a little bit better. On the side, maybe. Mm, no, they kind of. Once I put the second one on there, that starts to detract. Didn't didn't like how that worked out. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just put them. Actually, I think I'll use those printed pieces instead. Underneath these these yellow slopes, in those gaps that I left early on. Gotta be careful not to disassemble the entire ship now. So we'll put these with their silver bodies right in those gaps. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they're lined up or not, because they're going to be hidden. Get 
Put you back up. Put you back up. Is there anything that'll fit into that spot? Right there, that corner. A little bit of a, a sudden transition. Don't really want to do this, so I won't. <laughs> Is there any place where I can make good use of this for the sake of stability? Yeah, these, these little bits on the sides for sure can take advantage of that. For the strength and just a little bit of smoothness and also a little bit of blocking of light. In the, the hollow space created by the axle holders that are kind of floated there. There we go. Good. Get that back on there. Better, better. I mean, I've got that spot where I can do the orange if I want. That might be too much. It's, it's not bad, but it's starting to feel too bulky there now. That just, no matter what I do, just keeps pushing through. Let me double that up. Is there anything I can put in between? Not really. Well, I guess I could put a stud in between to stop that. Well, no matter what, it's still going to push through. Some, well, this will push onto that piece instead. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll help it. It's pushing the bar through as I push down from above, and then that reduces the the penetration of the stud into the anti-stud effectively loosening it up. Yeah, that's that's okay. Just leave it off. Also let me see about taking that out now. Doing that. Yeah. Why not? I think the legality of that is very debatable. So let the debates rage on forever. I do have two of these. Do I, do I want to put them anywhere? Doesn't make sense. So maybe not. Kind of wanted to use them, but it's not necessary. looking at the pieces seeing if there's anything else that I really wanted to use I think this is it see how that looks with the orange off not necessarily better I could bring these in round that out doesn't really gain me that much Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. Calling it. <laughs> if anything else comes up, 
while I'm putting these pieces off to the side, too bad. Because I'm calling it. At some point, you just have to say, that's it. If I want to revisit at a later date, I can. But for now, this is this project at its completion. Is a spaceship with two forward-facing laser cannons and two uh, pylon winglet mounted arc cannons and a rear facing or actually uh, rear capable auto, auto defense turret point defense display stand don't know what those things on the sides are for I'm, I'm gonna call them motivators that uh, work as maybe they can work as repulsors or maybe they uh, help with with maneuvering or maybe they help with uh, you know going to faster than light speed we've got two engines back here plus an extra thruster used for carrier takeoffs that's what that one's going to be for just made that up and uh, yeah this this little one just above and uh variable uh, <laughs> geometry single seat cockpit uh, advanced cooling system uh, very shaky <laughs> as it's moved around that's a feature that means that it's on it's uh, actively regenerating energy <laughs> right now and uh, it's a spaceship there you go it flies and it shoots and it's not a traditional 918 924 928 wedge it's got a little bit of a humpback a fair amount of a humpback design which i, I was kind of quietly and not quietly <laughs> hoping for it's a little different it was a challenge it was definitely more of a challenge than i expected it to be i got off to a little bit of a slow start and maybe have a little bit of a slow end as well, but uh, it's overall nothing like I I expected at all. I was kind of thinking there would be kind of like a J shape to it if I was going to do a, a cargo ship. You know, it'd be very asymmetric and uh, like have a, have a large section on one side and then turn around and then have like the thinner part of the J over here, something like that, with the maybe the cockpit over there. I don't know didn't turn out that way at all and I am perfectly happy with that cool you told me to build a spaceship and I built a spaceship and that's probably not what you're expecting it's not what I was expecting but there you go thank you for your suggestions uh, this came from the same the suggestions on the same video as the dragon and uh, so now I zoom out from three of rest of the spare pieces in there three of this I've created this and this and this uh, isn't this supposed to be able to turn yeah uh, maybe I'll turn it towards you see a little better no that's falling apart None of them particularly durable, but fun to build. Purely creative process, not following instructions. Kind of letting the pieces take me wherever they wanted to. There you go. Much smaller than I expected it to be, but still uses up a lot of the pieces. Wow. Uses up, I think it used up more more of the pieces than the, the dragon did. You know, it's so much smaller. I'm looking at my pile of pieces left over from the dragon. It's close, but I think this used more. More of the, the volume. All right. Time for me to uh, call it a day or a night. Get this video edited and send it. Bye for now.